219 Tage. 60 Spiele. Frankfurt gegen Paris Saint-Germain. Das große Finale. So, after an intriguing and dramatic season, the UEFA Women's Champions League reached its final stop in Berlin, where two clubs who had battled their way past Europe's top sides to reach this stage would face each other in the Friedrich Ludwig Jan Sportpark. Frankfurt cruised past all opponents on the way to the final. Striker Celia Sasic had been grabbing most of the headlines, but it had also been a great campaign for Berlin-born goalkeeper Desiree Schumann. Also ein Champions League Finale zu gewinnen, egal gegen wen, ist für jeden, glaube ich, mit das Tollste, was man erleben kann. Aber ähm, ja, für uns spielt es auch noch eine Rolle, da wir dann die direkte Champions League Qualifikation erreichen würden mit einem Sieg. Aber Ich bin mir einfach sicher, dass jeder von uns diesen Pokal am Ende hochhalten will und es wäre richtig gut, wenn es klappen würde. Paris Saint-Germain, meanwhile, have had a much trickier run to the final. They managed to defeat domestic rivals Olympic Lyonnais and then had to overcome unbeaten German side Wolfsburg in the semi-finals. For PSG defender Annika Kran, returning to Germany for this final was always in her mind. Ja, erstmal für den Verein ist das natürlich schon, äh, wie ich eigentlich schon vor dem Halbfinale auch gesagt habe, historisch. Äh, der Verein war noch nie hier in der, im Champions League Finale und von daher ähm, ist es natürlich schon von großer Bedeutung. Und ich meine, selbst dass wir jetzt im Finale sind, ist schon äh, historisch und äh, wenn wir dann noch gewinnen könnten, wäre es natürlich umso schöner. Thursday, 14th of May, Match Day. And with a capacity crowd of nearly 20,000 expected, the stadium began to fill up. Both clubs bringing a large number of travelling fans who added to the wonderful atmosphere in and around the stadium. And those fans were treated to a spectacular opening ceremony on the pitch before kick-off, something UEFA President Michel Platini and German Chancellor Angela Merkel seemed to enjoy. And then it was time. Both teams taking to the field for the sixth UEFA Women's Champions League final. Frankfurt began the match strongly and dominated possession, creating a number of good chances. After 32 minutes, Frankfurt got the breakthrough. Celia Sasic equaling the competition scoring record with a well-placed header to give Frankfurt a 1-0 lead. PSG needed a response and they got one. A delightful cross was met emphatically by Marie-Laure Delis. Her powerful header gave Schumann no chance. 1-1 at half-time. Paris began the second half stronger, and both sides created a number of chances but were unable to find the net. Frankfurt brought on substitute Mandy Islaka in an attempt to get the so far elusive winning goal. And just as the game looked to be heading for extra time, it was the German striker who gave Frankfurt the lead in added time with a wonderful finish. The full-time whistle soon followed and it was met with both distraught scenes from a Paris team who had come so close, but also by scenes of joy from Frankfurt, who had not only clinched the title, but also guaranteed a place in next season's competition. Ja, das ist unfassbar. Ich kann es eigentlich auch immer noch nicht glauben. Ich bin einfach so glücklich, überglücklich. Die Mannschaft hat ein tolles Spiel gemacht. Es sind tolle Mädels und die haben wirklich alles, alles abgerufen. Und das war fantastisch. 
Well, I think the first half was not so good. The girls were not uh, immediately in the game and uh, we lost time all this first half and after uh, we were better, I think. Uh, the team were stronger uh, and I hope that we could uh, do uh, more. Uh, but uh, they scored at 19 minutes and it was uh, very hard. On a essayé de faire euh, vraiment tout ce qu'on pouvait. Euh, on, a, on a essayé de, de les mettre en difficulté, mais euh, je pense que Francfort a été plus fort que nous euh, aujourd'hui. Nous, il faut qu'on tire les enseignements de cette défaite pour construire quelque chose pour l'année prochaine. I uh, fighting so long for uh, win this title and after last year uh, loss with tears uh, this was more special and uh, means that uh, I had the I took the, the right decision coming to to Frankfurt and uh, means also that uh, you always have to come up and uh, keep trying and uh, dreaming big So on the day Frankfurt were crowned champions, it's 373 days until the next UEFA Women's Champions League final. Yeah. So this one will sleep with yeah. you tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay.